Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you a fun little box made with the envelope punch board. That is to put a chocolate bar, the full size chocolate bar. This is the Milky Way sneaker would fit in, Mars, so uh, pretty much any brand with the Mars, I guess, that uh, fit in. So, it's the, I see the regular size, full size, they got so many different uh, size now, but this is what I call the regular size. So it is a very uh, nice little box. I saw that on Pinterest and if I remember right, it's Stamping Silly that did this box. I switch a little bit. So if you go uh, look for her and you say, oh, this is not the same, I switch my, uh, a little bit. Um, I'm going to show you what I switch from hers to mine. If you see mine, it's all uh, overlap in the back. Hers, it's just joined a little bit. So I didn't have much place to put my glue, so I switched that there. So let's get started. First thing you want to do, it's take a piece of cardstock or DSP, and this is the DSP uh, Season of Style that I'm using. This one was um, snow, um, no, what was it? Winter Frost paper. And this one here, it's the Season of Style. So again, it's six and a half by six and a half. Put it on your scoreboard or your envelope punch uh, board. First score is going to be at one and a quarter. Score, it go right at the edge, maybe even a little bit off. Punch, and then on the same side, two and three quarter. Bring that at two and three quarter. Score, and punch. Now flip it 90 degrees up and down whatever it is let's do the same thing one and a quarter score punch two and three quarter score and punch and it doesn't matter if you've punched before or after it doesn't matter now we're going to follow those line our uh, score line with our score guide we're going to do the other two side so there there and on the other side right here whoops make sure it's lined up pretty good and then this one okay now what we're going to do it's that's where I done it differently so I'm going to show to you both ways first she bring it at two and a half and it's the points and the points here, she brought it at two and a half. Well, I want more for overlapping. So, oh, two and a half would have been there. I'm going to go at two and three quarter. And you can go even past just a little bit. I put my point just below the two and three quarter. I have to make sure I'm the same on both sides. Here we go. Then cut this off, turn it around, and do the same thing two and three quarter and I just go off a little bit so it give me quite a bit more to put my glue. Voila! So now that we got that cut, another thing that I uh, just did while I was trying to do another video and I ruined but I'm going to take my point, put that right there, round it up, put it right here, round it up so it finished rounded. Now we're going to reinforce all our score. And I had my, here we go. Let's reinforce all of them. And that is one of the important steps when we do any kind of box or 3D item that all our uh, score line are reinforced very good. Don't forget the other side. And over here, it's almost done. See how quick and easy this box is? Okay, now we're gonna. I want to keep my flap. Me, what I mean by my flap, it's this because I think it really reinforces. So we're gonna cut on the call it on the long way this way, just snip this a little bit 
all the way to your score here and snip this and then I just cut it just a tiny bit so it's more square than around it there and if you get a little peak like this it's going to come off okay let's do the same thing at the other end and then I'm just going to cut this okay now for Every time I do 3D or whatever, I say use the red sticky strip because it's solid. This one I did with the snail, it was okay, but I'm afraid by the time I'm going to give it uh, to somebody, it's going to come apart. And those chocolate bars are kind of heavy, so I would say go ahead and do the, the red sticky strip. And I put one, sti one sticky strip this is the one that go inside and then this one going to go there. So it's going to be reinforced here and reinforced there. Make sure this is pushed right. Take this off. And the other one I did with the snail and right now they're okay. It's just that I think that if you take the time to do all those 3D, you might as well use the red sticky strip because it's going to last longer. One thing too I want to show you, you see I leave this flat when I do a box so then it and then fold it and then fold it on top. So this way it's so much easier than try to line it up. Now open this, put this there, voila it's the perfect and over here voila you get your little box and um, it's uh, over here you see it goes sideways sideways and the other one that if you cut at two and a half well then it match a little bit better here you just get a little dip but then you just get a little tiny strip to put your glue so it's whatever you prefer so this is it out to do your box um, I'm going to tell you here I used the two and a half a circle punch the scentless stamp set and this one here I use the snow day stamp set for uh, warm wishes I use the framelit the flurries to stamp my uh, silver glitter paper and then I sponge it with inland indigo so that's why it looked kind of bluish and then for the bling bling what I did I just used a sharpie and you just color your um, your rhinestone and it's perfectly stay there with a sharpie and then you can do the same thing with uh, the the pearls and sharpie that, that way you can have any color that you want so hope you learned something new if you get any question or um, to get any of the stamping up product you can visit my blog at frenchystamps.com Thanks for watching and have a great day.